Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another board game unboxing. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the Kickstarter exclusive, so far, Nemesis. So this is basically a game of aliens, which is awesome. But uh, it was a Kickstarter exclusive. It came out basically earlier in 2018. Um, like January or something like that. I can't actually remember right now, but they finally shipped out the first wave and we have it here in hand and I uh, figured we just unbox this thing for you. So we got the entire shipping crate here. Uh, this is actually how it came in the mail. I did uh, put a piece of tape over top of the shipping address just because, um, but I want to just kind of point out a few things here. So it comes very nice, cool little box here. Uh, they've got these cool straps around it. Um, it's got a lot of stuff in it. It's pretty heavy. I don't know exactly the weight on it, but uh, we'll look here in a little while. Um, it does have these cool little uh, plastic tab things on the corners to keep the thing from getting dinged up, I guess, in shipping. And unfortunately, mine actually came in missing most of them. <laughs> One, two, three, four, at least, anyway, so about half of them. But I'm assuming it still did its job because it still looks to be in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of uh, bending on the box here at the top, um, but I think that's just the shipping box itself. So we're not going to do like a 360 on this, but I uh, just wanted to kind of show y'all what the box looks like. You know, you're one copy of Nemesis inside. Uh, the bottom is pretty bare, but uh, again, you can see where the tabs used to be. Should look like these, but they don't. <laughs> then the sides are all just blank pretty much, except for the, uh, the one front piece. So pretty cool looking anyways. This thing is uh, going to be at retail at some point, um, but there are a couple of pieces inside that are not going to be at retail, so that's kind of cool, but uh, we'll go ahead and just start unboxing this thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just snip these things right here. Because I don't know where my uh, box cutter went to, so <laughs> we'll use these instead. Nice. Pull these out, throw them way back over there. Uh, then we have this cool piece of tape up here at the front that we're going to have to cut through. So I got my little X-Acto knife here. We'll just uh, slice the tape off and have to cut through some of this hot glue where they put those corners on. So we're going to have to rip those things off. We would have had to rip them off anyways to get inside, but uh, I guess that much is done for us at least. And it cuts through this hot glue pretty well. And the tape. And the camera's going to bounce around a little bit because uh, this thing is fairly big and uh, kind of heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut through this hot glue on the sides. And pop this guy off on this side. Sort of. So that actually, yeah, there we go. Nice little packing thing here. And a little bit more hot glue. And I'm not going to bother with these corners yet. I think we can probably just pop it off. We'll start here at the bottom and just pull this out. Flip it open as best we can here. And we have the Kickstarter bonus content up front. It comes on a, a nice carrying case thing here. Uh, foam insert. So we'll toss that to the side. 
Kickstarter bonus content. Very cool looking. We'll set that to the side and we'll uh, take each one of these individually and open them up. And here is the core game. And there's another piece of foam up here at the top. They did a really good job with the packing on this thing. Um, even though some of those uh, corner things are missing, looks like nothing has been damaged in shipping. So just have to see what we can do here. Hang on a moment while we figure this out. It's in here pretty tight. There we go. <clears throat> and now there's nothing left in the big box. So we'll throw that to the side. So we have the cool core game and the Kickstarter bonus content. And a uh, reminder that the Tainted Grail is coming soon. That's cool. So yes, let's uh, take a look at this box first. Um, see if I can move a few of these lights around to get a little bit better. Less glare anyways. <laughs> Very awesome. I'm really excited about this game. Uh, it's from Awaken Realms and Rebel. You can see that, I guess. Very cool artwork there on the front or on the top. Flipping it up to the uh, top, the side, whatever you want to call it. Nemesis. We'll go ahead and rotate these around. More cool artwork and Nemesis. More cool artwork, Nemesis. And yet even more cool art and nemesis. And then throwing it onto his back, we get a look at the actual insides. Cool looking stuff. So just to read through this uh, for whatever reason, Nemesis is a one to five player space survival game with incredible miniatures and clever immersive rules. That include cooperation, bluffing, backstabbing, and all other elements of an iconic science fiction horror adventure. The crew wakes up from hibernation. The damage report states there's a critical system failure and the ship can't continue its cruise. The task is to find the damage, repair it, and safely return to Earth. The problem? One crew member is dead. Somebody ripped open his hibernation pod and pulled his body out. To make matters worse, you can hear noises in the vast corridors of the ship. They sound unlike anything you've heard before. When faced with the ultimate horror, will you trust your crewmates? Very cool. Awesome looking. Uh, components, it has 26 high quality miniatures, 300 plus cards, 200 cardboard room tiles, 200 other components, two sided cardboard map, and a plastic insert. And we get some cool shots of some of the miniatures in here. Again, this is an alien-themed board game, which is freaking awesome. Uh, and we will go ahead and move on to the unboxing part of the actual core game. And then we'll take a look at the uh, exclusive content secondarily. So I'm going to pause it right here, and uh, we will reposition the camera as best we can and the lights to see if we can get rid of a little bit of this glare and then we'll go from there so stick with us and we're back with the core set for nemesis the board game uh, we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing now so uh, to start with we're just going to cut the uh, wrapping paper off here the uh, clear plastic cellophane slice that off nice and neat and go ahead and rip this thing off so I did look at the shipping thing and it did say it was uh, 12 pounds, so that's kind of what you could expect. Again, they are shipping this out in, uh, well, you had the option of shipping in waves or shipping all at once, so I selected the uh, ship in waves. So we don't have uh, most of the expansion packs or anything like that. This is just the core game and some of the exclusive stuff. So. We'll have more unboxings as those expansions come out and they ship them to us, but uh, I'm really excited about the core game by itself, so very nice. Uh, I did also opt for the Sun, sun Drop 
treatment on the miniatures so they come pre-painted with that nice cool uh sun drop effect from awaken so i am just slowly lifting off this cool box there we go and burn, burn, burn. we'll set that to the side and put stuff in it as we go to it so up front we have the game manual very nice really big game manual here uh, and if you don't want to read the rules you can watch the video it says so go to nemesisbg.com slash learn and i guess that is uh for a board game very cool though we'll flip through this thing real fast here we're not going to spend a ton of time on what's in here because uh we'll get to that at some other point but uh some really awesome layouts on this thing here anyways cool setups game setup player goals flow of the game actions and objectives movement and exploration noise technical corridors malfunction markers encounter and combat really awesome looking though there's a ton of rules to look through here though so that video would probably come in really handy trying to catch up to speed on this but yeah this thing is really nice it's, so it comes in at uh, 27 pages for the well 28 pages here is the rule summary as well so very cool looking uh, we will slide this I guess over here stack it all right there uh, basic rooms so here's the room setup sheets some cheat sheets for these rooms so this is room one additional rooms two special rooms room sheet one additional room sheets one cool next up we have some uh, game boards hopefully this is not too glary see if i can move these lights back just a little bit here <clears throat> so here's a uh, one set of double-sided game board very cool we just kind of flip through these things real quick uh, the intruder board some more tokens and engine control rooms and stuff like that nice looking some uh, character sheets we've got the captain and the mechanic here and they're starting to pop out here so some more rooms i love this artwork on this thing and then we have the scientist and the pilot along with some more rooms soldier and scout And now we come into some more tokens. So we've got uh, alien tokens, egg tokens, uh, dead guy tokens, all sorts of really cool looking stuff here. Double sided on all of it, so very cool. We've got uh, nice, a box stand, first player token. And uh, instructions for how to set the box up. <laughs> That's cool then we have the actual game board itself uh, so this thing is going to be very big we will try to uh, unfold it here for you so here is uh, one side two sides and i know the glare is terrible on this thing so i apologize i don't have a big enough area to do this and it folds out and it folds out again I guess it's just uh, three sections actually, so that's not too bad, but uh, still much bigger than we can display here at one time. So you have uh, one side of the board that is for cooperative play and solo play, and then the other side of the board is for just uh, regular play and 
hard mode, I guess, is one of them as well. So I don't know what to read the rules on that, but a very cool game board. Very nice looking. And here we start getting into some actual uh, contents. Nice. We have a very cool clear plastic insert that has the actual Nemesis logo on it that goes over top of this thing. So uh, that is cool. We'll set it over here for the time being. Oh, where do we even start with this stuff? Uh, let's start right here. Uh, we have this cool uh, contamination scanner. So some of these cards somewhere in here, uh, you actually put this over top of them and it actually will tell you whether or not uh, you have an alien infection, which is a cool concept. It's uh, kind of neat. Uh, we have some um, player bases here. So you have your different colors for your different characters. There's one for each player in here. So very nice. We have some uh, just clear tokens, markers, those kinds of things. And uh, we'll zoom in on all these things individually here in a few minutes, but we'll just go through all of it first here. Uh, we've got some other tokens for, um, these are probably like ammo and there's little, little red cubey things. So <laughs> uh, we've got some dice, nice black and red dice. One for the monster, one for you, I guess. We've got some uh, fire damage tokens and nice 3D effects. Very cool. We have some cool gears for your uh, mechanical damage and stuff like that, so that's nice. <clears throat> we have some stands for doors and hatches and things like that, so that's going to be cool. They're just clear as well. And we've got some more of these uh, yellow tokens. Pretty cool looking. <laughs> we've got this cool Nemesis bag. Uh, this is meant for you to essentially blind draw out some uh, which of these monsters and all will actually show up on the board. So you basically stuff them all in here and then you uh, kind of pick them out individually and that kind of shows you when they show up on the board. So that's cool. It's a nice little... Nice game bag. Got a little bit of a uh, stitching loose thread coming out of it, but not too big, too bad. Nemesis. And let's go. I know y'all are dying to get to the miniatures, but uh, we also have these cool player character boards. Um, there we go. Nemesis. You can kind of see that better now. Uh, the point of these things is basically so you have these in front of you and you put your cards on them and then your the rest of the people can't actually see your cards. Uh, they're only able to be seen by you, which is nice because this does kind of get into some of that uh, game play where it does matter and you don't want people to uh, know what you're if you're like the uh, saboteur or something like that. You don't want people to know about that. So there's one of these for every player. So five of these in total. And that's all that's in this tray other than the miniatures. And we can start, I guess, here. Um, we're probably going to do a, uh, I'll probably cut away and do these miniatures individually because they are small and if I hold them up to y'all like this, you can't see it. So we will uh, stop and come back to those and look at them individually. But uh, let's just take a look at one of these here. Um, so this is the sun drop effect. They've kind of been pre-painted. Very nice looking. Very cool looking. Great sculpts anyways. So we've got a tray of those. This tray lifts up. And I don't know where to set this, but I guess we'll set it over here. And underneath we have another tray with another clear plastic holder. Very nice. 
we'll stick that right there. Uh, so in here we actually have the uh, cards and we will look at them individually here momentarily, but uh, there are one, two, three. Three stacks of regular cards and two stacks of those uh, miniature cards. So very nice. And then more of the larger miniatures, including the cool Alien Queen. Very nice. These guys are really cool, really awesome. So, uh, and then that's pretty much all we have inside the box here. That is everything. So what we'll do now is uh, we will go ahead and cut away and I will come back and we'll do an individual look at each of these cool miniatures. And then we'll take a look at the, uh, the individual tokens and the cards as well. So stick with us. This is going to be a long review if K or unboxing in case you hadn't figured it out. But uh, if you're still with us, I appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up and uh, just hang on. We'll keep going. Okay, let's get through some components. And then we can dive into the miniatures, which I'm sure y'all are waiting on. But... Uh, I suppose you can skip ahead if you would like to see the miniatures, but uh, we're going to go start here with the dice. Come in a nice little sill bag, or Ziploc bag, sorry. So we have uh, some black dice. Pretty nice. You got a monster thing there. Roll pretty good. Uh, then we've got the actual... Uh, other red dice here so <laughs> pretty cool so nice translucent color with the red ones and the uh these gray ones are kind of a smoke color you can kind of see through them as well so they're pretty nice stick those back in the bag <clears throat> uh, next up we've got these uh gears so the mechanical shenanigans so these are a pretty nice looking set of gears nice 3d effect anyways here very cool so you put these tokens down when you have uh, mechanical problems or whatever so pretty cool then we've got a bag of these uh, red token things Little bitty miniature QB things. Uh, nice see-through plastic as well. Pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of these. I don't know how many. We're not going to bother counting them. But uh, you get a bag full of them. So that's cool. Should be more than enough for what you need. we got these uh, yellow token things. These are actually really cool looking. Uh, they got some nice detail work on them as well. They're also that translucent yellow color. Very nice. A whole bag full of them as well. We're, again, not counting any of these. So, <laughs> but those are the, uh, the yellow tokens. <laughs> and I keep dropping them everywhere, so. I do like these uh, 3D tokens more than the cardboard cutout ones, so very cool. Now we've got the fire tokens, or the uh, damage tokens, whatever you want to look at it there. These are actually pretty cool. Uh, they're again also that nice translucent color. You can see my hand behind them there. Got a insert of another flamey thing there, so yeah, very cool looking. A bag full of those. And I think the the point of uh, these things basically is that so it's like uh, it's how you track how much damage is on the ship. So if you've got fire in compartments, and uh, basically when you run out of these tokens, the game is over and your ship is on fire and burnt to a crisp. Same thing with uh, these malfunction tokens. Uh, when you run out of tokens and can't put any more on the board, uh, then Basically, the game's over because uh, your ship has broken to pieces. <laughs> I 
Uh, next up, we've got these just clear tokens. These are pretty standard, just uh, kind of clear tokeny things. Very nice looking though. I'll stick those back in the bag. I don't think they uh, count for anything in the game as far as damaging the ship or anything like that. So Then we have a bag of uh, door hatch standees. So these are pretty straightforward. Those are pretty much what you've seen in most of these uh, games for, you know, standing up doors and uh, hatches and things like that. So pretty straightforward. Nothing really spectacular there. And I think I actually bought the uh, kit that had the uh, 3D hatches. So I don't know. We'll check that at some point. And then we've got the actual bases for your characters here. And there are six of these, same as the number for any of the characters. This kind of uh, silicone-based looking rubbery thing. And they just slide over top of your uh, character players. So just grab one at random here and uh, just kind of fit them in here like that. And then that helps you uh, when you have more than one player on the table. You know who's who and which turn they are so these are pretty cool I like these anyways uh, so you can get these for most games nowadays and they are really handy so it helps you keep track of who everybody is so very nice to have those stick that uh, miniature back over there <clears throat> so we got a stack of cards here we'll go through first this one is intruder attacks and uh, other such stuff. So let's see what they are. I also picked up the art book. So whenever that shows up, uh, we'll take a look at it because I really do love the artwork that these have here. So you can see in this one, it's really awesome. <laughs> So anyways, we've got uh, event cards. I guess we can flip this over first and say, so we got intruder attacks. Serious wounds. And event cards. So that's what's in this deck. And again, you kind of separate all these out and shuffle them about to uh, so we're just going to take a look at them real fast here. So we'll just uh, flop them down like this. You can uh, pause if you would like to get any up close and personal view of these cards. But again, I really do love this artwork. They did a really great job with all this. I may actually mix in some music with this thing if I can get around to it to, whoops, to kind of help with the, the pacing because I know this is a, can be a little bit boring sitting here and uh, looking at things without me reading off everything, but I don't really figure that y'all want me to read all this stuff. But uh, So these uh, serious wounds are really cool. Uh, so like this tells you where you took damage. So the concept behind this is just really cool for me. So legs, body, bleeding, hand, and scratch. Claw attack. bite. It's a nasty looking booger. <laughs> Slime. He slimed me. Summoning. Transformation. Frenzy. Tail attack. All very cool. All fit really well inside the uh, context of an alien game, which I'm really excited about if you didn't know that already. <laughs> 
All right, moving on to the next deck of cards. So we have here spaceships. <laughs> we have character draft. Pass cards, intruder player action, solo co op objective, objective cards, and so as to not spoil this too much, we're going to thumb through these really fast. Uh, so if you don't want to be spoiled by gameplay, then uh, don't look at these. <laughs> you can uh, skip ahead to the next section if you want. But uh, we'll just thumb through them really quick here. Hopefully, like I say, if you do want to, you can read through these and pause the video here at any time. And I'll try to keep my thumb out of the way long enough for you to read those. That one tried to run away. And uh, so that you all know, uh, I'm not reading these things too much. Um, I'm looking through the viewfinder on the camera, so I can't really uh, spoil this too much myself, which I was a little bit worried about because uh, I like the idea of uh, having this kind of be random and stuff like that. So I'm not going to read all these at all. Uh, these things are pretty cool. So these go to the players. They're basically your help cards, which is nice because it kind of shows you what you need to do, how the event itself plays out. Uh, and so these are character draft cards, which are actually pretty cool. So the idea is that uh, you can either pick which ones you want, or you can do a bland, uh, <laughs> bland them, random draw of the deck to pick which characters you have. And I really do like that. That's a really cool concept. I'm probably going to implement that in some of the uh, solo games that I play through. So these are, uh, I think these are just concept cards, actually. So these are not gameplay related. So you can, you can look now if you uh, were one of those people that were not looking before. <clears throat> we got some cool character art. Promo card thing showing the characters and some of the design work on these things. So this is really cool. The Therapist. <laughs> so yeah, there is that deck of cards. Very cool as well. We'll slide those to the side. We got one more large deck here. And then uh, two of the small ones, and then we'll get to the good stuff. All right, so these are action cards. I think these are all pretty much action cards. So you can have a lot of actions here, which is good because each player has to have a certain number that they can get through. And if you've got five players, then you need enough for all five people. So we'll kind of do the same thing here. Um, we'll kind of quickly run through these here. If you uh, don't want to be spoiled too much, then don't look too hard at these things. Um, the, the cool thing is that so these are actually... Uh, specific to the character so like this one is uh, for the captain so this is only going to be in use for the captain so this is cool and also tells you uh, you can't do this during combat and this one doesn't have that so you can do it at any time but they do kind of tell you what you're restricted to do and like this one right here uh, this icon is basically for only to be used in combat kind of thing so that's a Kind of a neat little thing. Here's the mechanic. 
some of his actions. So some of these actions are uh, shared amongst players. So like the demolition, I think uh, any character can do demolition or better yet, any character can do search, but uh, not necessarily any character can do fast repairs. And this is a computer skill, so I'm not supposed to be reading these, am I? Here are the uh, pilot cards. So again, we got search and rest demolition. So and scientist. The scout. The soldier. And here are some contamination cards. Uh, and these are all basically the same. So we'll just kind of thumb through them here. So these uh, cards are actually what uh, tells you basically if you are contaminated or not. And uh, we're going to just uh, randomly pick one about middle. That one. <laughs> uh, stick these on here and move all that deck to the side. So... We've got uh, this really cool scanner thing here. Uh, this is basically how you are supposed to figure out if you have been infected or not. Uh, so we have the contamination card here that we'll put in here for a second to find out if we did this. But basically you stick it into this uh, card here. There's a little slot here at the top that just slides in there. If one of your contaminations cards you scan shows that it's infected, you can uh, do whatever this says here. So uh, let's just see if we are lucky or not. So it has this cool uh, red film thing on it here that kind of reveals whether or not this is safe or not. Uh, we kind of just slide it in up here at the top like this. And I'm not going to look until we all look. And I'll try just to position it enough to see if I can get it in there. And then you flip it over and... Uh, actually, I don't know. Does that show... That doesn't actually show up on the screen at all. So uh, this one actually does not show that it is infected. So... I guess we were safe here so uh and that's kind of cool that you actually can't read that through the camera so uh well i guess you can if i turn it at the right angle sort of maybe no i guess not so y'all never know so anyways this one is not contaminated i'm gonna try one more just because i want to find out what it looks like so I take this one and slide it in here, and it actually does show as infected. So, yeah, that, that's a cool thing there. So, essentially they've got uh, just some, like, code numbers and stuff on here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five lines of code here. And in this particular case, one of them actually reads infected. So that's, that's a pretty cool trick there. And this one... Uh, does not show infected, so yeah, that's that's really awesome. <laughs> Anyways, that's the uh, the scanner mode thing, so that that is really cool. I like that. <laughs> Sorry, moving on to uh, one of these little bitty packs of cards. Um, I'm not really a big fan of these cards because they're so damn tiny, but I can understand that uh, sometimes you just need small cards if you're. If you get too many of those large cards, then you really need a really large table to keep all of them in line. And some people are limited on space. I know when I do like solo play, if I'm doing it on this board, it's really hard. 
Uh, I usually have to go to the kitchen table if I'm going to do that or uh, find a bigger table to go through. So anyways, these things are coordinate cards, crafted items, item cards, lots and lots of item cards. And then we got more item cards. So I guess this is like ammunition cards. Uh, and health cards. So that's kind of cool. Let's flip through these real quick. So we got bandages. <clears throat> it says one use only, so that's cool. You can't reuse them too much. And there's alcohol. Clothes. And you can uh, disc guard a slime marker or dress one serious wound so that's kind of cool makes sense anyways military drugs adrenaline injections grenade prototype pistol prototype shotgun prototype rifle energy charge I guess you need a lot of energy charges. Recon drones. Self-destruct key. Evacuation key. Comms key. Smoke grenade. Extended magazine. Decoys. Antidotes. That's cool. Tasers. Flamethrower, Molotov cocktail, and then uh, coordinate cards. So, pretty straightforward on those things. So, really cool. Very nice set here. They did a really good job with all of these cards here. Nice and glossy and very slick looking. And then our final set of cards we have... More item cards, health ones. We've got uh, mechanical items, tools, I guess. Ah, I'm gonna mess these up. <laughs> That's why I don't like these little cards. They too flimsy. <laughs> Flip around too much. Uh, soldier cards. Starting items, security things, so more starting items. So special things that can only be used by the players, the specific players, so like Captain. Uh, then we've got Intruder Weaknesses. Yeah, so let's flip these back over and uh, take a look here. So again, you're not supposed to, so uh, in the game itself, you and with these uh, intruder weaknesses, you kind of hide them, so you're not supposed to know what they are. Uh, so you may want to pause this if you don't want to spoil things here. And we got classic six shooter, log key, intercom, sawed off shotgun, flashlight, plasma torch, shotgun, evacuation key, orbital maneuvering system. Pistol, Halo computer, lab equipment, rifle, motion scanner, security key, assault rifle, armor, autoloader, energy charge, clothes, chemicals, fire extinguisher. Can't have too many of those, can you? Uh, just regular tools is what it says here, so... Duct tape, because even in space, you got to have duct tape. Nemesis plans. That's uh, the spaceship you're on is called the Nemesis, just so you know. Uh, spacesuits, technical corridors, plans, med kits. 
Med kit, med kit, med kit, med kit. Synthetic food. And a lot of those. So, very cool. That is all the cards we got here. Uh, that's quite a bit of them. Um, we will go ahead now and uh, switch gears and start taking a look at the miniatures. So, we'll take a break real quick and uh, come back and stick with us here. Okay, we are back again. Um, if you've made it this far, then thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we are moving on to what most of y'all have probably been waiting on, the actual miniatures themselves. So we're just going to go ahead and start with the uh, player characters. And we're just going to take a look at them and see what they look like and uh, do a as close a review as we can with them or look at them. So uh, this one is, what, the Scout, I think? So again, these are the sun-dropped painted versions of the miniatures. Uh, so all in all, they look really nice. They've got this uh, pretty cool paint effect going on. You can kind of see how they did this. It's basically painted from above. So I don't know. It's uh, The detail work on these things is really awesome. They look really cool. I'm not 100% sold on this sun drop effect, at least for the player characters. Um, they're a little bit bland for me, but uh, we'll see in a minute how they look on the actual aliens themselves. But player characters are a little, uh, a little bit bland. So, anyways, as far as uh, scale wise, these things are basically the same size. Uh, what are these? 28 millimeter. Something like that for uh, so pretty much the same size as regular Dungeons and Dragons miniatures. So all in all, they look really good. So there is the the scout. I think we'll grab this one, which uh, I don't know which one this one is, but uh, this one actually didn't turn out quite as well uh, paint wise. There's kind of a glob there on the face, but Still some really cool detail work. Other than that uh, blob of paint on his face, it looks pretty good. I'll probably end up uh, picking up an extra set of these and uh, trying to paint them myself. Uh, or I may just try to pick up just the, uh, the player characters individually. Uh, so this one is the Scientist. It looks pretty good actually. Do a spin around on this one. He's got a cool wheelchair thing. Very nice. But I did know going into this that uh, I'm not going to have time to uh, paint these myself. Here's the soldier. Looks pretty cool. He's got a nice gun here. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough time to paint these myself, so I went ahead and opted for this sun drop effect. So they at least look better than just uh, plain plastic on the game board so uh, next we have I don't know which one this one is <laughs> still a pretty cool looking outfit Again, really nice detail work looks pretty good that one may have been I guess this one's the captain Got a cool uh, crazy harness thing going on anyways. Pretty nice pistol there. Cool. I like this guy. Uh, from there we have all the miniatures for the aliens. We'll start with the smaller ones and just kind of work our way up from there. So uh, we've got a bunch of these. Uh, I guess these are the larva ones. And the actual sun drop effect on this works a whole lot better. You've got this cool kind of uh, greenish blue effect going on, which is a little bit better than that plain kind of white gray paint. So we got this one here, uh, and we have, I think, four of these total. One, two, they're kind of stuck in here. Actually, we got more than that, so three. These two are stuck together. 
There we go. Pop them off the bases. There's four of those. Five. Six of those larvae total. So that looks really cool. All of them look really nice with that cool sun drop effect on it. So I do like that, the way that turned out. Cool. So there's uh, six of those. Put these back in here. Uh, then we have these guys. Uh, so these are the crazy crawly ones. So I guess adolescent aliens. And again, the sun drop effect actually looks really good on these. I like this. Got these cool, crazy pincher things going on. Very crazy, very wild. Uh, let's grab our player character here so we can see size comparison. These guys are much longer than these guys, but uh, they still are come up to about their chest. So... Very cool. And we do get one, two, three of those guys. So that is really awesome. And uh, they are all kind of uh, hand sun dropped, I guess you could say. But they all look pretty uniform and pretty good here. So I'm actually pretty impressed with those. The uh, The detail work on the, uh, like the ship holes, that's really cool standard bases on them so these are the kind of oval bases but so we get three of those crazy uh crawly guys <laughs> i don't know their actual name but we're gonna call them the crawly guys next up we've got uh these cool guys here uh so they're slightly bigger so the more adult form of the alien very nice Very cool looking. And player character here. As you can see that uh, we're starting to get into some formidable opponents for these guys. And it looks like we have uh, two of these guys. Actually, no. We have uh, two of those plus two more in this crate over here. These are actually slightly different sculpts here so actually these are different so we get two of these guys <laughs> sorry about that two of these guys slide those guys back over here and we'll move on to these guys then and uh, take a look at him uh, again it's a slightly different sculpt here but uh, basically the same type of alien anyways very cool looking uh, some of these, you can kind of move their tails around a little bit, so if you don't really like the way they wound up, you can uh, slightly move them around a little bit. But we do end up with uh, two of them. This one looks a little bit better. Cool, though. Really nice. Put that guy back in the thing. And let's see here. We've got this guy so uh, starting to get a little bit more aggressive looking you can uh, scale p comparison here for the uh, player characters so it's uh dwarfs these guys <laughs> should probably just leave that one out um very cool detail again that really cool kind of blotchy effect going on for like the i guess that could be blood on those things very cool uh, we do have, looks like, two of these in this sculpt. Sweet. Then we've got uh, this guy right here, which is, uh, I guess, kind of an alternate sculpt of the one we just looked at. Standing more straight up. Do a spin around here for you real quick. And you can see here with the uh, player character. Yeah, these guys are massive. And we do have two of those. Uh, 
and his tail is uh, kind of stuck in here so I may have to be careful about moving it but there we go may need to uh, get some warm water and try to uh, readjust that a little bit but uh, all in all it's not bad those are cool I like those two of those <laughs> And then we have this uh, really massive dude here. Not so much of a tail going on, but uh, very cool looking. Really nice sculpt on this one as well. All these things are very impressive in person. Hopefully that's kind of coming across here on screen. Player comparison here. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, and just uh, for those of you that are wondering, we'll throw our D&D uh, &D guy in here again. So uh, you can mix these guys in if you want to, to uh, have some kind of crazy demon battling your D&D &D guys. But uh, I'm going to try to focus on the actual Nemesis game itself. Not go off on a tangent too much, but very awesome. We do get two of these guys. Roar. And then our last figure is the Queen Alien. Yes. Badass. So you can see down here at the bottom, there's a whole swarm of those larva things coming out of this little hatchway thing that she's got as her base. She's uh, holding one of them there. So that's uh, pretty cool. Pretty sweet looking. Again, some crazy detail going on on these things. And we've got our player character. <laughs> uh, these guys don't stand much of a chance against her. So that's really awesome that they have been able to kind of keep that scale going on. So that's really awesome. So yeah, there is uh, the last... Of our miniatures so uh, that's pretty much all we got for the miniatures and for the rest of the game uh, we'll cut now and jump into that little box of exclusives so uh, just stick with us a little while longer we're almost at the end and we're back this time we're looking at the Kickstarter bonus content for nemesis so he comes in this nice uh, separate box here it's got some cool artwork here of the uh, space cat on there and he's uh, evidently eating cheetos <laughs> so very nice very cool looking uh the back of it is just a reminder that they are coming out with their tainted grill we've got uh top and back and side and everything is pretty straightforward here uh, we do got a piece of tape here on the top so let's go ahead and uh, slice that open and unfold this thing and uh, see what we get inside. <clears throat> and we're just going to dump it out here, I guess. <laughs> uh. All right, that, that's everything out of this uh, Kickstarter exclusive box. Let's see what now is here. So we've got uh, some cool tokens. I don't know what these are, but uh, they are cool looking anyways. <laughs> I'll have to read the book here somewhere. <laughs> we got a cool token set. Uh, we do have... Uh, so this was an add-on, so I got the, uh, the card protectors. This is just the Paladin. I've got evidently two sets of these that have 55 in each one of them so I don't know if that's enough oh there's the rest of them <laughs> one two three four packs of these so that's cool I have to put those in those sleeves uh, we also get the uh, little miniature ones as well these are the uh, the Arthur ones uh, so this one was Percival for the regular sized cards and these are Arthur, which are the uh, mini European ones. We got uh, three packs of those, so that's cool. And there are 55 in each one, so 
Hopefully that's enough. I don't know. I haven't counted cards. Uh, we have the cool Untold Stories book. So this is uh, essentially the comic and some other unproduced stuff that they did collected into a nice little package here. Really awesome artwork in here as well. This is a cool book. There's that one. Uh, I'll open this up in a second. We do have the cool Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon art book. This is kind of a promo piece for their upcoming game, which is also already came and gone on Kickstarter probably by this point. Uh, but I did back it, so once I get it, we'll look at it too. But uh, some cool artwork on this thing. This is more of a you know regular medieval fantasy kind of stuff that's going on. So I am uh, very interested in this. But very cool looking art book anyways. Uh, we'll just kind of thumb through it real quick here. to give you a slight preview. Epic Grim Adventure. This one looks really awesome. I am really looking forward to that game as well. So uh, there is that book. Uh, this is a pack of cards uh, called Ether Fields. It's a cooperative uh, story-driven board game with heavy focus on character development where your actions impact your personality and the general mood of this forsaken world. This new Awaken Realms miniature board game will feature gameplay design by... Mikhail Orakes, Orakes, author of Story Driven, This War of Mine, the board game, and One of a Kind Aesthetic. Learn the secrets of Aether and try to escape this beautiful dystopian nightmare. Join us at fieldsofether.com. So, that's cool. Uh, you want to open these? We'll open these up in a moment here. Uh, let's see what else is in here. There's a, another... Uh, envelope here that's uh, not sealed but has something in it so uh oh cool we get a metal token that's cool we'll uh, zoom in here in a second and take a look at that uh this is just a dear backer here's your cool stuff uh what is included here is the uh tainted grail art book the Tainted Grail promo metal coin, the Etherfields playing card game deck with art from another game that's in development. That's this one. Uh, Untold Stories, a free 80 page long Nemesis co op campaign storybook. We unlocked only 20 pages in the Kickstarter campaign, but we decided to go for the whole experience and create an epic co op adventure with amazing art and story. This comes in addition to the comic. The add-on comic that will arrive with the stretch goals. Very nice looking. Uh, here's some stuff that uh, it tells you about how to fix some stuff if anything goes wrong. So, yeah, cool. Uh, so that's really nice. Very cool looking. Um, let's zoom in and take a look at this metal coin. I can get this back in here. <laughs> There's that and this metal coin here. Very nice looking. Again, this is for Tainted Grail. That's cool. 
I like it. And uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, look at these cards. I don't know. What do y'all uh, do? Y'all usually open all these uh, bonus material stuff. These are uh, promo items. Do you kind of save them? Keep them sealed? Anything like that? Uh, I usually just open everything, <laughs> but uh, that's me. So um, I don't know. I don't usually get these things for like retail or anything like that, or resale or anything like that. I get them for my collection. Is what it amounts to. So uh, as long as I have fun with it, I don't really care. So. I don't want to tear this thing. That's the, the one thing I don't like doing is tearing packages, if I can help it. And this one is uh, being a bug. I'm afraid I'm probably going to have to tear this thing to get it open. And I don't want to have to do that. Let me uh, see if I can just fit this in here. I'm using the, the flat edge here, <clears throat> the non spiky edge to try to poke that back. There we go. And I may have to do the same thing for this side here. So, uh, Bear with me while I try to figure this out. There we go. While I uh, do like opening everything, I just don't like damaging products. So, especially cool things like this. It's got some really nice artwork on the front. Some cool side stuff. So. Anyways, uh, so these are all sealed. These are, looks like a deck of playing cards, actually. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's open it up, though. Slicey, slicey, slicey. There we go. Get over there. Uh, so, yeah, these are actually just playing cards. They got some really cool artwork, though. We'll just thumb through these here. Nice Joker, Queen, King, Ace, and Hearts, Joker, Queen, King, Ace, Joker, Queen, King. Joker, Queen, and King, and then some cool other promo cards here. So that is really awesome. Uh, that's going to be pretty interesting when they actually do actually come out with this, whatever this is. Eth ether fields, <laughs> ethereal fields, something like that. Anyways, that's pretty cool. So uh, that's everything we get in our Kickstarter exclusive promo pack thing here. Bonus content. These cards don't want to go back in there. I'll fold with them later. So, uh, yes, that is our cool bonus content. So we get uh, the cool Ether Fields promo card deck. We get a cool metal coin from uh, Tainted Grail. We get the uh, thank you letter. We get the Tainted Grail art book. The Nemesis Untold Stories Volume 1. We get all the cool uh, card sleeves for the mini cards and for the uh, standard cards. And then we get an extra token set. So... So eat. Very nice looking. There we go, guys. There is the entirety of the uh, first wave of the Nemesis board game. So, what do y'all think? Uh, are you uh, kind of psyched about this thing? Did you actually get it on the Kickstarter? 
If so, have you received your box yet? Have you actually got to go in and start a game of this thing yet? Uh, drop some comments down below. Let us all know what you think. And again, I'll apologize for the length of this video, but this is a really big game and it's got a lot of components and it's really freaking awesome. So thanks for watching. That's all the time we've got for today, or I guess I should say that's all the time of yours we're going to take for today. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. If you'd like to see anything in future episodes, leave me a comment as well. I'll do my best to get it out and in front of y'all. Until next time, game on.